So Warframe is new hand cannon, right? Emphasis on the hand cannon. That was the, the Twitch drop from Tenocon, the Athodai. Now, is it actually a proper hand cannon in Warframe? Do we even have any? I guess the Euphona Prime's primary fire, the Vaco Merlock, the Lex Prime, they could be hand cannons, but what would you define as one of those? For me, this is a hand cannon, right? My Ostringer in Destiny 2, or Malfeasance, or Crimson, Ariana's Vow, Spare Rations, or even the Old Fashioned. They are hand cannons, hard-hitting semi-auto pistols that can do some serious damage. Whereas the Athodai in Warframe is more of a fully auto sidearm with a secondary beam function that fires in a frontal 2 meter cone, so not exactly what I would classify as a hand cannon, it's more along the lines of I guess the Rattleguts kit gun. So now that that's out of the way, okay let's talk about how good or bad this weapon is. The Athodai, like I said, was a Twitch Prime drop that some of you will have gotten and some of you won't have gotten. In fact, someone's probably already typing in the comment section how they watched all of the streams but never got this weapon because that's how reliant Twitch drops can be. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And it's not just on DE's part, that's on Twitch's part as well. Like I said, the Athodai has two different fire modes. Its primary fire is fully auto and it's completely crit based, very, very small status chance, in fact only 8%, but it has got a pretty cool passive that activates on a headshot kill. So kills by headshot will lock out the alternate fire mode, basically turn it off so you can't do it, while boosting the primary fire rate and giving you infinite ammo for 8 seconds. So it's kind of like the Nell, kinda. The buff is called Overdrive and is also very similar to the Lesion buff in that you can't refresh the buff while it is active. The buff will also increase your recoil. So if you can keep landing those headshots, then you can keep infinite ammo once you can keep refreshing that buff, while also increasing your fire rate and increasing your recoil for your primary fire of that sidearm. So it's good. High crit chance, infinite ammo, fast fire rate, slap on, hydraulic crosshairs for more crit if you want to. It is a solid option. Now, the Athodai's secondary fire mode, however, will consume 24 rounds and it release all of that in a 2 meter, like I said, frontal beam that has an increased status chance, has a 2 meter in a punch through and deals heat damage. So it's kind of a short range mini flamethrower that will burn enemies in the normal star chart down in seconds. In the steel path however, it'll take a little bit more work. Now if you have got the Athodai then you will know the big big problem with it is its ammo economy. It absolutely chews through ammo and really needs ammo mutator mods or even carrier in order to help it out. Also arcane pistolier if you want to use it as a bonus. Two reloads of the alternate fire will completely remove all of your ammo. You will have none left whatsoever. Personally, I found that the alt fire in terms of damage was much better than the primary fire with Warframes like Nidus who can group up very large groups of enemies with his big spaghetti ball allowing you to melt them or with Vauban and his Vortex or by using the Arcane Magus Anomaly which of course will also vacuum or suck enemies into a large group allowing you to bone through them as well. But the primary fire mode is definitely a lot like the Rattleguts kit gun which is a much better variant of it for me so I would prefer to use that. Anyway grouping up enemies in a large group and then using the secondary fire for me felt like the more fun option just the weapon itself is not my kind of weapon maybe it is for you but these are the two separate builds that I went ahead and tried out while using the Athodai. The first one is all crit and the secondary is modded for status. Whichever mode you want to prefer and build for, entirely up to you. Hydraulic Crosshairs as well is a solid option if you can fit it into your build. But let me know in the comment section below what you think of the Athodai, if you have got it, if you are lucky enough to get your hands on it. I would imagine that this is the kind of weapon that you will see showing up again, either with Barrow further down the line or maybe as a future Twitch Prime or Twitch drop again. I can't see them completely locking it out. It might even show up when the Heart of Deimos update drops. It might be another Twitch drop in that pool as well. So hopefully all of you will have a second chance to get your hands on it if you didn't first time around. Like the video or don't, subscribe or don't, and as always, thanks very much for watching.